Hey everybody, how are you? I hope you're doing well. Uh, we're stuck here at the house. Uh, it's, it's during the uh, COVID-19 virus. Everybody's at home. So we're hanging in there. I hope you are too. Stay safe. My name is Shane. Uh, this is the Java uh, Coding Zoo playlist. And in today's lesson, we're going to cover how to use the operation or method called uh, all match on a Java stream. So if you've never used all match method on a Java stream, hey, stick around. We're gonna jump right in. All right, so hey, on my desktop, I have a class here that's called stream all match example let's go ahead and create a list that we're going to create a stream from so i'm going to do a list how about we work with integers so i'm going to have a list called my numbers equals and let's do what numbers we want to put in four five six seven eight and nine so i have uh, a my numbers list of integers let's do an import on list so i've got java import list now let's create a stream and from that stream i want to use it to navigate this list and i want to make sure that everything in this list matches a certain criteria now, how do I define that criteria? You define the criteria by providing uh, basically a lambda function uh, to uh, return true or false. Let's do that. So I'm gonna do my numbers. Let's, let's put the answer into a Boolean. Uh, does everything in this array match a certain criteria um, let's search to see if they're all even numbers. So I'm going to have a Boolean called uh, is all even numbers, numbers, uh, numbers, and equals my numbers stream int type. And I'm going to do the method on the stream called all match. Now, this, the stream is going to loop through each entry in the stream. It's going to pass in that value of each entry into all match. And you can do this with integers, or you can do this with objects. You can do this with any, any type of uh, uh, variable um, in any type of data structure in an, inside of an array. Um, or inside of a stream, rather. So all match, and uh, let's call it uh, the entry is going to be a number. So I'm going to do number and create a little lambda here. And how do I tell if the number is even or not? Well, I think uh, number with the mod, with the mod, where's my mod key? Don't use it very often, of uh, two. So this number divided by two. Um, its remainder will be what? That's what mod does. Uh, so if I divide this number by two, uh, what's the remainder? That's what this will give us. Does it equal zero? So if it's divided by two and it equals zero in the sense of there's no remainders, that means it's an odd or rather an even number. It's an even number. If there was a remainder, it would be an odd number. So three divided by two is one and there's a remainder of one. So that would be... Uh, an odd number. Um, four divided by two is two, and there is no remainder. It's a remainder of zero, so that would be an even number. Let's go ahead and uh, print this out. Or a little comment, terminating. Uh, all match is a terminating um, method operation. And let's, uh, terminating means it's uh, uh, you can no longer create more streams from it and it was going to give you an ending value. Um, all right, so is all even? 
So just to rehash it, I'm using a uh, numbers uh, uh, list, and it has, uh, I'm using the stream from that list, and I'm going to make sure all the numbers match uh, this criteria, which is specified in this lambda. Okay, so this lambda here, uh, used in conjunction with the all match method, will uh, basically uh, say tell whether the particular entry in the array uh, is even or not, because uh, a number with the mod of two, if it's equal to zero, if that's true, that means it's an even number. So it's going to return true on even numbers and false on odd numbers. So this is going to check if they're all even. Uh, let me fix my array, uh, my Boolean name here. And let's go ahead and run it. And there we go, false. So the answer is false. They're not all even numbers. We, of course, can see that here. Um, let's see if we can make it true. Four, uh, seven, and let's get rid of the nine. Let's put a 10 there. All right, let's run that. And there we go, true. So uh, that's it, pretty simple. The all match basically uses a criteria that you just, that you create, a criteria, criteria, can't say that word very well. It uses that crit criteria you create with a lambda function to return true or false. Uh, of course, you can be passing in objects through this array, and you can be looking at properties on that object and return true or false. You can use it for very complex things, and not just not just integers. Uh, so it's up to your imagination. So that's pretty much it. That's how all match works. I hope that makes sense. If you have any questions, leave me a message below. I will definitely get back to you. If you like this video, please click the like button. Go ahead and click subscribe. That helps us out a lot. Be sure to click the bell icon so you will get alerts. And we appreciate you joining. Stay safe. And I hope to see you again next time. Have a great week. Bye.